What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we have the Rodan from the 1956 film. And I gotta tell you, this Rodan is so cool looking. Like, just like the Gorosaurus, the classics line have, like I love that they're going back from the 50s and the 60s and you can really see the suit, right? I mean, just when I saw him in stores, I was like, I gotta get him. He looks like he would be on a guy in a suit and how he looks in the movie. And I'm really, really impressed. So it's standard packaging. At this point, we have reviewed Mr. Jet Jaguar. We are reviewing Rodan right now. We just reviewed Gorosaurus, and we're probably not going to review Godzilla, Burning Godzilla. God, I can't speak. Burning Godzilla, unless there is a um, a good chunk of my subscribers that really would like to see the review, then I'd be more than happy to fork out the 12 bucks and get them. But right now, it doesn't really seem necessary for me to add them to the, my collection. When I already have the NECA Burning Godzilla review, uh, not review, Burning Godzilla in my collection, but I can review it if you guys want me to. Anyway, let's get Rodan out of the packaging and take a closer look at this really cool creature design. All right, taking a closer look at Rodan, I am really happy with it. Like that face sculpt, I just think is so nice. Let me see if I can get it better. I just think it's such a nice face sculpt. It has like, cause I always thought there was kind of almost like a goofiness to Rodan in the earlier things. And Rodan has always been one of my favorite kaijus. And I gotta be honest with you, this captures that goofy looking face sculpt of the original films. I like the paint job we get uh, throughout with the gold on the stomach and the gold on the uh, on his uh, claws, and then he also has a little bit of gold on the face region and on his horns. But one of the things I think is really cool is this nice little paint we have on this back of the green and gold. I think that's really nice. And I think this sculpt is really good. Like I said, for a $13 figure, remember, that's the price point we're looking at, $13. This is not a bad, uh, this is not a bad price point. This is not a bad uh, figure to put in a collection. If we, and, uh, and consider from where they started, you know, like I've reviewed, like Destroy it, for instance. Destroy I feel like lacks painted deal, uh, details. But again, he w the price point was fine. Now, I do think that Playmates have stepped up their game, especially with this wave. I don't know if this would be their third wave or their second wave, but they definitely uh, ramped up the, um, the detail for sure. And that's something I really appreciate uh, with with uh, what they're doing. And I want to see more of them. I, I hope that we get more of the classics line. I want to continue to grow my classics collection. Uh, I've been really into it, um, this line as of late. So the only articulation he has is this. That's it. He can move his head. But that's okay. That's what. It's one of the nostalgia features of these uh, figures, right? And if you anybody who used to collect the old Bandai, uh, I think it was a Bandai America or Bandai Creations, whatever it was called, they don't move. They're, they're basically vinyl statues, and that's what you're getting here. And that's to me, that's okay. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. I do like his pose. He has no issue standing on his own, and that's one of the things that could be worrisome with some of these other figures is the fact that maybe they would topple over, but this guy, he's sturdy. You know, I like the pose they have him in. And it makes you think of those older movies from the 50s for sure. So if we bring out um, the other figures from the wave right here, you can see how he looks. He's got Gorosaurus right here. And then we have Jet Jaguar right here. And again, I have not gotten Burning Godzilla. Uh, it's not something I'm opposed to, but if there's a demand for Burning Godzilla, I would be more than happy to get him. Um, but I do have the neck of Burning Godzilla. So like, I just feel like that's a, the superior figure. But I think these look really great together. Um, I want to also bring out uh, real quick, I want to bring out the two Godzilla versus Kong figures we have before I bring out some of the more modern Rodan. So here we got, again, he looks good. I think this Playmates line is doing a wonderful job for sure. I think that, you know, I, I think he's going to obviously look better with the with the classic figures for sure. But, you know, again, I think a lot of these uh, Godzilla figures, they just look really well together regardless. Um, but let me bring out my uh, movie monster series, Rodan, from the Godzilla King of the Monsters movie so we can see how he looks with his uh, older counterpart. Here are my two vinyl Rodans. This is the movie monster series uh, for the King of the Monsters line. And then obviously here's the Playmates line that we are currently reviewing. But one of the things I like about both these figures is that, you know, this one tries to take a more realistic approach by still keeping it um, classic with, you know, the standing pose. Um, and then this one just looks how he would in the movie, right? But I do think these guys look really well together. Uh, there's, I do think that the King of the Monsters design is such a sick design. Like, I think the NECA Rodan figure is one of the best Rodan figures out there. It probably is my favorite Rodan figure. But if I'm going by the vinyl figures, I do think this is the better figure just because, like, it captures the goofiness of those classic films, which I really love and appreciate. But I, I do love this movie monster series, which I have reviewed on the channel. Please, guys, go to my Godzilla playlist if you want to see all my Godzilla-related videos. I have a ton of them. I think I have 
close to 50 Godzilla action figure reviews by now. So, you know, please go take a look at those. Um, I'm, I really love Godzilla and I love reviewing Godzilla anytime I get the chance. But I hope you guys liked this video. Please comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.